Hey, my name is Godzilla, and today we're taking a look at the Playmates Godzilla x Kong the New Empire Frosty the Snow Lizard. Yeah, I totally cooked that up like five minutes ago before I, yeah, I cooked that up right now. Shimo and Scar King are some of the newest additions to the MonsterVerse. And as we saw with Trailer 2, he's gonna be a Frosty Boy. If that wasn't obvious enough. And another thing that should be obvious is that this is a totally different setup. Because I'm in my new room now. This is gonna be a temporary setup, you know, I'm kind of just crammed in a corner here. Well, uh, it's kind of all I got. I don't really have that much space to breathe. But, 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 but that's not the figure. We're here to talk about the Playmates, the Godzilla x Kong, the new M. The painting and sculpting on this figure is pretty good. The figure is entirely white. Please don't take that out of context. But it, just because of that, you don't really get to see much of the details. I would recommend putting a black wash over it, just like how this one guy did. I'm not personally going to do that to mine because I like my Shimo. But just a little recommendation. Or at least dry brush. I don't know what they would do. But just something to really bring out some of those details. But speaking of details, look at all these frosty spike crystals. And they're kind of pointy. And but this should be a concern. If your kid gets a hold of this, you know, they could... You get the point. I'm lonely, can you please just end my suffering? But let's talk about his or her face. When I first saw Shimo's face with those metal figs, I honestly thought she looked like a shark. Or he, I don't know. I have to be very careful with these next words. And the eyes are fairly basic, but what do you expect? Shimo is just a cheap $10 toy, what do you really, you know? But now, let's get into Shimo's cold accessory. If you open her up and you shove this thing in her or his mouth, wait, you can get Shimo with the Frostbite Blast. We're gonna see Shimo shattering Kong's axe in the new movie. If you haven't seen the second trailer, go watch it. So it's cool to see this beam effect part. And like I said with my base form Godzilla review, I like the new Playmates beam effects. I especially like Shimo and Evolved Godzilla's. But that's Shimo's only accessory. Now let's get into Shimo's pose ability. Shimo has a swivel and hinge joint at the head, so we can uh, do that and that stuff. Shimo also has a hinge joint at the mouth, which can uh, swivel at both of the arms and it can move out. And a swivel at his foot or hand or whatever. Her legs or his legs can kick up about that far, which really isn't that much of a difference. And then lastly, a ball joint at the whole tail, so you can get some pretty cool poses. Posability on Shimo is pretty good. Now let's get into size comparisons. Here he, here he is next to the Dragon Ball Evolution Super Saiyan Gohan. There you go. And here he is next to Gohan, but on hind legs. Voyager class Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime on hind legs. And here is Shimo next to every Godzilla X Kong figure that I own. Oh, don't worry. Those two are going to be coming in tomorrow. <laughs> and then here is Shimo next to every Godzilla X Kong figure, but on hind legs. So, what do I think of Frosty the Snow Lizard? I quite like him. While Shimo's not my favorite in the line, that go to Ape Kratos over here. Shimo was the first 6-inch Godzilla X Kong figure that I got. And Shimo does have his charm. But we will see Frosty the Snow Lizard in the next movie coming up soon. Shimo, where are you? Oh, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, consider liking and subscribing. Also, join my Discord server, please. No links, because go find them at Target or Walmart. But that has been my review on the Playmates Godzilla x Kong The New Empire Shimo. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.